New at six, a group of kids say Governor Rick Scott and Commissioner of Agriculture Adam Putnam have endangered their future and they're suing. CBS News Aurelia Ortega is at the Miami Dade County Courthouse to explain. Aurelia? Elliot, the lawsuit is asking for the state to officially recognize the threat of climate change. The plaintiffs want the development of a climate recovery plan as well as an inventory of greenhouse gases. On the steps of the Miami-Dade County Courthouse in downtown Miami, a group of youngsters gathered to announce a climate change lawsuit filed Monday in Tallahassee. I am suing Governor Scott and the state of Florida. They have failed to honor their duties outlined in the Florida Constitution as well as the public trust doctrine. The eight plaintiffs in the case, including two well-known youth climate activists, range in age from 20 years old to 10 years old. I live in Satellite Beach, Florida, and, I, and I'm the kind of kid that loves to be outside and play on the beach. This is why, that is why this lawsuit is so important to me. The lawsuit against Governor Scott, Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam, and the Florida Department of Environmental Protection seeks for the parties to acknowledge that climate change is real. In 2014, when he was again running for office, he famously announced when he was asked about climate change, I'm not a scientist. The legal team includes nine attorneys who say the lawsuit is about what the state is doing to cause harm to the environment. It's about ocean acidification, health threats, rising seas, flooding, extreme weather, all these things that we all are suffering from. Governor Scott's office issued a statement that read, quote, the governor signed one of the largest environmental protection budgets in Florida's history last month, investing $4 billion into Florida's environment. The governor is focused on real solutions to protect our environment, not political theater or a lawsuit orchestrated by a group based in Eugene, Oregon, end quote. Lawyers are urging the defendants to meet with the plaintiffs in order to accelerate the change they say is needed. Live in downtown Miami, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News.